In a place with the pretty face, see the beady waist and the fat cake. Let me get a taste. Yeah, we need to get the bottles out the case. Shorty got a body like she caught a case. Out of this world, give us some space. Boss, by the niggas set the pace. I wanna get in, it look like a safe. Straight from the middle, it's lit like a rocket. Give me a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a rocket. Feeling like Rocky, fit in my pockets. Bipolar man, humble and cocky. They try to copy, give me the money. I need my greens like it's broccoli. I ain't trying to board on the budget. Man, I got drip like a hole in the bucket. Pull up with a coupe, they wish they were driving. I'm just trying to get myself to the top. Seeing myself getting top in the parking lot. In the lay in the drop top. Get that money like chop chop. Got your bitch. Dancing like cha cha, got your girl calling me non stop. She keep calling me da da. She wanna slurp it like pasta. She know I'm a star like she working for NASA. Come to my casa, I'm one hot dog. Shorty be master, busted. Average girls, you know I don't need them. Bad bitches slide in my DM. We gon' party, girl, AM to PM. Haters with beer, I'm glad I ain't DM. Bad girls in a place with the pretty face. See the pretty waist and the fat cake. Let me get a taste. Then we need to get the bottles out the case. Shorty got a body like she caught a case. Out of this world, give us some space. Boss, but I'll let you set the pace. I wanna get in and look like a safe. <laughs> Living them dust, you know it's a must Give me them bucks, it is what it is, it's not what it was Got nothing but love cause I'm triple the trust so Keep everything on the hush Big moves like an elephant, my shit is nuts I'm about to be rich, feel it in my guts Bad girls in a place with a pretty face See the beady waist and the fat cake Let me get a taste, yeah we need to get the bottles out the case Shorty got a body like she caught a case Out of this world, give us some space So, this isn't really what I wanted to do, but it's, it's something that needs to be done. So, this car has not been ceramic coated since I bought it. So, that's one thing this thing needs, and I got good stuff this time, which I'm going to advertise, even though I paid for it. Um, I am an ambassador for the product, so, but I've never tried this product. It's supposed to be better than the stuff I was using. Armor Shield Max, you know, we'll try that. Um, we have some scratches on this thing. Some of them I, uh, were there when we bought it. Some of them I don't think were, but there's a possibility they were. So, there's a scratch across the back bumper, just a little one. There's a scratch on the front bumper right here. And there's really nothing I can do about that because that's down through the paint. And it kind of almost looks like it's part of the uh, PPF, but it's not. And I tried touching it up right here, and I didn't like how it turned out. So, I don't know that I will. But I'm going to see if this cleans up better. Because I did put a little touch up on that. The main one being a scratch that travels down the door. It's probably hard to see, but you can see it right there. It gets darker. And although I know I'm probably not going to get this perfect i would like to add some clear in there first off i'm gonna get some acetone and put it on a little brush and i'm gonna wipe inside of here because i used a a, a clear coat it was a pen it was supposed to be a clear coat correction pen and i used that on it and that stuff after it was on for like 10 minutes turned yellow and it made everything look worse and i'm thinking that's why that looks the way it does now but 
I have a bunch of little touch-up brushes and um, or makeup brushes. I got, I got these a long time ago and little brushes like this. And then I was in the bathroom the one day and there was a bunch of these in there that were pink. Apparently it's some sort of makeup brush, touch-up brush. Same exact thing, but I, but these are the automotive, whatever. Anyways. So anyways, my, my wife let me use the car today because I'm cleaning it. That's one way I, I get to drive this thing. The other thing is uh, she let me enter it into a car show at work. So this week there's a car show. I want to try to make that look a little bit better. Plus, it just needs to be done. It needs protection. So, I'm going to take this little touch-up pen. A little bit of acetone. I'm going to wipe in that crack and see if I can get some of that darkness out. Because I don't remember it being that dark. I think it happened after I used that clear coat pen. That don't do it. Don't buy those the, the, the gimmicks you see online. That, that magically blends the polymers and, and corrects your scratches. Don't. No. No. Uh-uh. Don't get those it's not worth it but she doesn't really when she cleans this thing it's a quick clean she misses but it happens you know what i mean i would take a lot better care of this thing if it was if i was driving it every day but anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna try to correct some of these areas and you know protect it the best i can um it's gonna get dirty again because i'm gonna be putting polish on this thing i, I actually am after I get this cleaned out and and then put some clear and stuff in there. We're going to be wet sanding and buffing this. I'm going to try to at least level it. And I'd like to get rid of that scratch. But let's see what this acetone does first. All right, so that helped a tad bit, and some of that coloration in there is from that freaking clear pen I used. But I'm thinking to make it a little less noticeable, we're going to have to add some white paint in there. Now, this is a Lexus color. It's a different, it's a different um, pearl, but I'm wondering if the white isn't the same. I'm not going to be adding pearl in, but obviously I did do some touch up here. I want to do a little bit of a, a wet sand on that and then polish real quick. I'm going to see how that turns out because I did fill in a scratch right there and I just want to see how it turns out. I have a sanding kit for touching up. I just got to find it in my uh, cabinet here. So this goes up to 3000 grit. And uh, we're going to have to wet sand, but I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wet sand that with 3000 just to try to knock this down around it. And I don't want to go too aggressive. That's why we're using 3000. And then I'm going to try to polish it out and see what that looks like. Um, I didn't use that Lexus white on that. I think I might have used the infinity white but any type of white over that dark line it, it's gonna look a little bit better than having that dark line there so I'm gonna I, I, this is all experimental kids I, I don't really know what I'm doing so uh, I'm, I'm just trying to make this look better because this car is worth a lot more than what it's looking like right now All right, so that does look a little bit better. I still have to polish it. It's got like a flat look to it now. But I went and I found, and I still have some of this Glacier Frost Lexus color. And uh, you can tell it's not quite exact. Well, I don't know if it dries. When it dries, it might dry a little whiter. I don't know. But 
what I'm gonna do, maybe I should try a little bit right here first. I'm actually more happy with that Lexus color. It, it when I buff that, I think it's going to be it's going to be really close. Now I can still see some dark spots. I'd like to hit it with a little bit more of this, but that's close enough that I if I would like to do that scratch on the door and the fender with this. So I need to get it filled in with this and give it a little bit of time to dry so that I can go over and start wet sanding it. And then after I wet sand it and get it down where I like it, then we're going to mix up clear coat. And I'm going to put clear coat over top of it. Then that's when we'll start uh, sanding again, buffing, and, and trying to get it uh, where it is acceptable. All right, so that already looks somewhat better. Now, yes, it doesn't match. It, it's way closer than the other color I was using. I actually went over this section that I already sanded with that paint. It looks a lot better than the other stuff. And once I sand that so it's just in the crack, just in the crack, uh, it's gonna look a lot better. I need to put the lid back on that paint. Actually, I gotta touch up another area. Um, and give this a little bit of time to dry then I'm going to go over it with 2000 grit and uh, get it smooth and then we'll mix up some clear see how this turns out all right now that I've went through here and I sanded this with 2000 grit it almost looks worse but that's because of the the crack being there and then now it's dull around it so it makes it stick out even worse I I'm hoping but you know I did go around and sand the whole scratch sanded the paint down that's around it I, I missed a spot right here I'm gonna have to hit again if you're looking at it there's a shiny spot right there on the bottom of that that's because I probably just sanded the paint off and didn't get into the clear you want to get the clear rough because you want the new clear to stick now after I mix this new clear up and I get it on there I'm gonna have to wait 24 hours before I come back and start cutting and buffing on that new clear so stay tuned it's going to be the same episode i'm going to take my time after we get done with this and get it looking decent then i'm gonna it'll be another day so this is gonna be a three-day video then i'm gonna go over this thing with the armor shield let me go find this armor shield so it also came with this prep spray surface prep cleaner so we're gonna have to this ensures maximum bonding high lubrication so we'll have to wipe the car down with this stuff because that it came with it why not and uh here it is max armor shield max and i think this is a what's it say it's supposed to last a lot longer than the other stuff that i had oh this little bottle is like i think it's 79 bucks 80 bucks something like that so i'm hoping it's pretty good stuff i was impressed with the other stuff like my my z right now i mean i i don't even have to hardly i just take it through a car wash and it's clean so if this stuff is better than that which as much money as i spent for it it should be then i'm gonna probably go over my z with this eventually but this is what we're gonna be doing the car with. Now, actually, I thought about it some more, and I, I'm gonna get the clear coat here and the hardener. I'm gonna use fast hardener. That'll let the clear coat dry quicker. 
um, it will harden up quicker and then I can buff it, sand it and buff it quicker. Uh, this is the first time I'm reading this. I've never noticed this before. It says up at the top, it says to close the lid tightly and it says use entire contents within 14 days of first opening. Listen, I can't, there's no, I can't go through that much. Like I've been using this and it still works. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Uh, it'd probably be better off. I do have a refrigerator in the basement. I thought about bringing it up here and then putting stuff like this, open containers, in the refrigerator because it does help it keep longer. So that's just a word of advice, but yeah. I know it looks worse right now, but trust the process. At least I'm trying to. <laughs> it it makes it really stick out because it's sanded around the area. So the the scuffed clear makes that area look lighter around it. So if you if let me let me show you. So if if you look at my face, if you look at it like up close, you can see the sanded area around it looks whiter. It's just because it's scuffed. And it's the same way on the door down there. You can see it, it makes it look whiter. So that is going to stick out more right now until I get that all scuffed, leveled out, and uh, buffed. So uh, I'm anxious to see how it turns out. I think I. I'm hoping it's going to be good, but I don't honestly know. It has to be better than it was. Because before this, it was just a scratch. And now the scratch is going to be filled in. So I think, hopefully, it looks a little bit better. But in the meantime, i got to let that dry. Actually, i got a couple other areas I want to do, too. i got scratches on the back bumper, but I'm going to go ahead and do those. I didn't show you guys. I, I already sanded those. I didn't add paint into those because there was paint in them. Uh, but I did It's not really a good match, but yeah, there's This area right here, and then there's an area over here on the side I think I'm gonna since it's already sanded. I might as well put a little bit of clear in those scratches. I mean Other than having them all repainted. This is gonna be your best option. All right, so I can't really do anything else with it because I gotta let that dry for a while Let's see how this clear looks that's in the cup. Oh, it's set up already. Look at that. It's still soft, but it's not pouring now. Still, you don't want to sand it yet. It, it's drying. So I'm going to wait and do that tomorrow just so we're good. Um, I did talk to Ashley, and I do want to take the PPF off the hood. Um, it's good to, to protect the front of your car, um, but... If it's on for too long, then it can ruin your paint and it can stick and stuff. But as you can see, it already lifted a little bit right there and dirt's getting underneath it. And I don't like that because that's going to leave a, that dirt mark. You can see it's a whole way across. There's dirt trapped in there that I can't get out. Now the PPF that's on the fenders, it, it's it's fine and then there's ppf on there's none on the front bumper i've looked at it um there's uh a little bit on the mirrors that top piece there's one there and then there's a piece on the bottom painted piece too so uh all right let's i gotta get a heat gun out because you gotta get that nice and warm 
and then the, to peel it off. So let's try that. Now when I buff that clear and stuff, I probably ought to buff the hood because you can see, well I'm not sure if you can see on camera, yeah, you can see the line. It The, the clear looks darker behind where the PPF was uh, as opposed to the front, it's looking whiter. So the clear kind of discolored, there's also what well, looks like a fine line there. So. I might I think I'm gonna try to buff that line out whenever I buff everything else out when I do my finishing buffing on that I'll do the same thing across the hood because I, I can see a faint line now but regardless the, the, the front of the hood is perfect so it does look really good all right I started without you folks but not very much I'll uh, explain it so here's my clear it's it is fully set up now. That's why I kept this in this cup. I wanted to see, you know, if it was set up. So I did go through and um, I shaved this down as far as I could, as I'm comfortable with. Then I started shaving this down. And what I'm doing is I'm using this nib tool that I have. And I, I suggest if any of you are working on paint, sanding down clear and stuff like that you get a nib tool like this this allows me to run over it and it scrapes down the high point what this does is i don't know if you've seen people shave down clear coat or runs and stuff with a razor this gives you like the same effect but without the sharp edges that are going to catch now do I have it shaved down as far, like, the whole way down? No, there's still a slight hump on there, but I'm down as far as I'm comfortable with going um, without compromising the old clear. So I got this shaped. I actually got this down pretty dang good. It's almost down to where the scratch was. Now, it's pretty, like, I think you're still going to see this mark regardless but you could see the mark before but now it's not going to be like a dip in the paint so i got this shaved down to about right here and right here i need to keep shaving so all i got to do is take this across it and it's going to scrape the high points and you can hear it and it makes quick work of it and now what this does you can see it shaves down the high points without shaving around it as much. I mean, it's minuscule. So this is like almost like block sanding, but it's shaving that high clear. So slowly we can work this down. So I'm going to finish the rest of this out I got from here to here, which doesn't seem like that much, but it takes a while to get it shaved down. So... I'm gonna put you on a time lapse and we're gonna get this shape down. All right, now we're getting out the wool pad and the buffer. I'm gonna hit this with some cutting compound and then I got new 3M stuff and fle like fleece pads. We're gonna try that to finish it off. So time lapse this, me polishing this. Everything's gonna get, you know, polish all over it. It's gonna, so I'm gonna have to wipe everything down again, but uh, this should give us a good finish. I hope. Wish me luck.
Well, folks, I don't know if I made it better or worse. I got the shine back on it. It looks pretty good, but you still very much notice that mark. And now it's under clear coat, so what jerry told me is he said what can it hurt it could either look better or it could look worse and then you'll have to have it painted so i mean if i wanted if we wanted this to be perfect we'd get it painted so i still on the fence about that but obviously the shine is back but you can see it's raised up a little bit from the clear i didn't want to shave it down too far but I got a nice shine back on it, so that's at least nice. As you can see, I got it like closer on uh, the doors and stuff, and now it's not like a, a scratch in there where it's going to get compromised or whatever. It's actually filled in with clear. It's just that the color sticks out, so yeah you get back and look at it it's not too bad but yeah up close you definitely notice it but i guess i didn't make it worse it's just not better that's all anyways while i have this finishing polish out i'm gonna go across the hood where the that brawl was just cross that seam right there because i can see a difference in color and i can see a little bit of a seam there so Let's see if I can make that a little less noticeable. Now I think I, I think I did make that better. Yeah, definitely. So that looks a lot better now that it's the clear is now polished around that area it blends it and makes it look better i wish that would have worked everywhere else anyways i'm gonna um this is just a mixture of alcohol and water i'm gonna go across and wipe this side down since i got probably well i can see i got wool dust all over the top of this thing i'm gonna blow off but uh probably got polish all over this thing too so i'm gonna try to get all of that off and then we got to wipe this thing down with a prep spray for armor shield i don't know if all kits come this way when you order the max at least when i ordered it i don't even remember if it was a special at the time whatever came with the prep spray and it came with six microfibers so we're gonna i'm not gonna use these microfibers for the pep pet pep, pep. i'm not gonna use these for the prep spray but i'm gonna use these for um the actual product whenever what i'm gonna do i'm gonna prep this whole car then i'm gonna use this on half of the hood because that's what everybody does right then i'm gonna spray a little bit of water on there not a lot because i don't want to have to wipe this whole thing down again uh and we're gonna see the difference from the coating to non-coated yeah that should that will really show you how it works huh all right so it says to do two passes to remove wax I don't know that this thing has, I don't think it really has any wax on, I mean, it, it probably does, but we'll, we'll see, I'm going to see how the surface feels. So apparently this is like a stripper, not like the kind you throw dollar bills at, like me. Ha! Ha! Anyways, they tell you to shake it up real well and then do one panel at a time, we'll wipe it off, so we'll see how this goes. actually goes on pretty easy wipes off really easy kind of has like a soap smell to it but it wipes off like alcohol kind of but it left the surface like spotless I don't think I need to go over it again with this I can tell when I wipe the rag across it 
it's not smooth and that's because there's no waxes on there this this stripped whatever there was off you can see it will not slide across there it just stops so this is gonna be good it'd be easy kind of I'm sweating already why why is it so hot that and I still I bet you I still have three quarters of a bottle left of this so that means we're good so we can do my Z later um, so this comes in the box just like the regular armor shield got a bottle take that out there's a couple applicator pads and then oh the sponge is different that's nice it's the sponge is all one and then it comes with gloves so we're gonna read the instructions and we're gonna use these little gloves and everything and buckle up because it's it's about to get real so you're gonna apply this just like you apply the old stuff that I used and you're gonna apply it liberally to this pad and uh, you're gonna put thick layers on and crisscross patterns so you'll do horizontal and then you'll go vertical until the whole panels covered um, continue spray crisscross pattern uh, let the coating sit until it flashes incandescent almost like an oil slick then remove residue by lightly buffing with a microfiber okay so we're gonna try this they recommend you split the hood in half because it's such a big so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna do that and uh, then I'll do a couple other panels and we'll come back and I'll spray some water on it we'll see what it what it does huh yeah I did this half of the hood and if I run my, my glove across it it's smooth smooth gripped and right here it's like rough get a little bit of water and I'll spray it in this area and we'll see what it looks like I know this says it's Meguiar's but it's not it was empty I put water in it this is what I was using the wet sand with Maybe this wasn't a good example. Keep wiping it off because it's run down the hood, but you can see over here it's not really beating up as much. Look over here. So it's more hydrophobic now. I gotta wipe this down. But anyways, it was really easy to apply. So I wanna continue on on this, get this all coated. I already did the hood, the windshield, and the roof, just this half. So I'm going to finish it off, and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so my mistake there was uh, applying water right after I put it on. Now, they recommend to leave it dry for two hours. In warm conditions, coatings become dust dry after 30 minutes and touch dry after two hours. So, it's hot in here, but I'm not in the sun. So, I'm, I'm buffing it. I got the whole hood. I actually went over this side again since I sprayed the water on there and stuff. And I just want to make sure that it cures on there it's hard to show you on a white vehicle a white vehicle it's hard to even see where i'm applying the stuff and where it is and where it isn't so i, I i'm sweaty i don't like it
if anything, uh, I do like, like, I'll tell you, I was one of the skeptics of ceramic coating. I was like, it's a gimmick. It's just like some sort of wax, whatever. Um, it, it is not. Seeing it on my Z, I, I did the, the coating on it before Carlisle. This was months ago. It's still, the water beads up on it when it rains every time. Every time I wash it, it's easier to clean. Uh, so, yes, the stuff does work. And if you get it for any reason, get it for the ease of, of use. Because this is way easier than applying wax and buffing wax and stuff like that. Like, this stuff, the hardest part of this is just prepping your vehicle to put it on. When you put it on... It, it's simple. You just wipe it on, wait a few minutes, wipe it off. Then you have to give it some time to cure, I guess. I don't know. It looks like it's finished, but apparently it's not. This stuff doesn't leave white residue behind like wax. So that is another plus to this is it doesn't matter what you put it on. You're not going to see it if, say, you don't get it wiped off that great. So that is another good thing for it. In fact, we're getting a storm right now. I want you to salt something. Look at the Z. You see that? You see how the water's just beating off? Not beating, beating off. I mean, look at the other vehicles. And then look at the Z. That's several months after I applied it. And it's been sitting outside ever since. And I wash it here and there. And I go through the car wash every now and then, and it stays, and it looks good. So I'm going to finish this up. I already got this whole side done. i got a little spider on my hand. I'm going to get this. I got this whole side done. I even did the wheels. Now I'm going to go to the driver's side, and then I haven't got the back end yet, so i got to get that too. Now that thing looks proper. Let's go get the wife, see what she thinks of it. She was like, can I drive my car this way? I was like, I don't want it to get dirty. I'm taking it to a car show. Okay, call me me. Go ahead. Come look at your car. Oh, darn it. Can I wait for 15 minutes? You can do whatever you want. I'll come in 15 minutes. I'm going to put my shoes on and start walking. Oh, my God. Hey, wait. You get in there. Get in there. Get, get. Get back. Look at your mommy. Look at your mommy her car. Come on. Good game. Huh? Yeah. 
yes, it looks beautiful. Look at it shine. You can see that. Huh? Uh, it sucks you can see that scratch. There's nothing else I can really do about it unless you repaint the whole car, oh, no. the whole side of the car. Yep. Yeah. Everything looks nice besides that damn scratch. Everything's ceramic coated. Well, you only notice it because you know it's there. Oh, that sticker's there. there. Yeah, I didn't take the stickers off of the fenders because it's there wasn't any dirt under them. Oh, okay. I only did the hood. Looks fancy. Yeah, everything's ceramic coated, so like dirt won't stick to it now. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know it means nothing to you. It just looks pretty. Yeah, it looks nice. My car looks nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like my wife. Huh? Mm. You aren't you glad I drug you out here for this? Yes, love it. <laughs> it's just like when you drag me out for a walk. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, this was. That's benefiting you. This was. How is this not benefiting you? I just spent two days on this. Well, I guess, but I'm saying it's benefited heart health wise. Well, this benefited my heart too. I was. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. Buffing and cleaning and yeah. sweating and. Yeah, that's good. You did a good job. Yeah, it's spotless. That's except for that mark. Glad you pointed that out. <laughs> All right, I've had enough for the day. So, there you go. It's as spotless as it's going to be, but you can still see that scratch. I'm glad she pointed that out. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Hit that dislike button if your mom wants me to buff her crack. And we'll see you on the next episode of Unwrecked. Put it down. Drop it. I just took... Two off of you. Quit it. Hot girl summer. Uh, dumped it all over the deck. What is your mommy doing out there? What are you doing?